This OSCE video will guide you through what you should be assessing on an upper limb neurological examination in an OSCE scenario, followed by a full run through of what it should look like. Candidate instructions. Please examine this patient's upper limb neurological system and present your findings within six minutes. As you enter, wash your hands. Introduce yourself to the patient, including your role. Check the patient identity, gain consent, and ask for a chaperone if necessary. First check if the patient has any pain. Begin with a general inspection, looking generally at the patient and looking specifically for any muscle wasting, fasciculation, tremors or any scars. Assess tone at the shoulders, elbows and wrists, looking for any hyper or hypotonia, cog wheeling, lead pipe rigidity or supinator catch. Assess the power in both arms, comparing both sides, from the shoulders to the elbows, to the wrists, to the hands and to the digits, and grade power from 5 being normal and 0 being paralysis. Assess for dysdiadocokinesis and perform the finger nose test looking for any intention tremor and pass pointing, all signs of cerebellar disease. With the patient's arms across his lap, assess the triceps, biceps and supinator reflexes comparing both sides. Check hard and soft sensation at each of the dermatones in the arms from C5 to T1. If you find any abnormalities in sensation, then go back and clearly map out the area of abnormality. Assess vibration sense by placing a tuning fork at the distal interphalangeal joint and asking the patient to feel when the vibration starts and stops. Check position sense by moving the finger up and down. If abnormality is detected, move more proximally until normal proprioception is found. Ask the patient to put their arms up with their palms upwards, looking for pronator drift. Conclude your examination by thanking the patient, summarising your findings and suggesting a cranial nerve examination and lower limb neurological examination. Hello, my name is Sam. I'm one of the third year medical students. Can I check your full name and date of birth, please? Colin Crone, 26th of the 2nd, 87. Thank you. I'm just going to check that against your wristband. Thanks, Colin. Today I've been asked to do an examination of the nerves of your arm. This class involved me um, asking you to do some movements of your arms and also checking the sensation. Would that be okay? That's fine. Before we begin, do you have any pain in your arms? Would you get any pain on movement? No. Okay, so I'm going to begin with a general inspection. I can't see any muscle wasting or fasciculation. There's no abnormal posturing or abnormal movements or tremor, and there are no scars. I'm going to ask you to begin by checking the tone in your arms. So just let your arm go floppy for me, please. So it's normal in the shoulder. There's no class knife rigidity or cog wheeling, and there's no supinator catch. The same on this side, just let that go floppy for me. So tone is normal in both ends. 
I'm now going to check the power in your arms. If you could just do this for me and push against my hands and push down. And this for me, pull me towards you and push me away. If you can have both arms in front of you straight out, push against my hand and down. And push against my hand and down. Okay, if you can have both fingers out, push against my fingers and down. Push against my fingers and down. And with your thumbs out, push against my thumb and down. And push against my thumb and down. Fingers outstretched, stop me pushing them together and squeeze my fingers. Lovely, and if you can just squeeze my fingers as well, that's perfect. So to, uh, power was five out of five in both thumbs. I'm now going to take your coordination. Um, so if you could put your left arm out in front of you and tap alternate sides with the right hand as fast as you can. And the same on the other side. So there's no dysdiadia cocainesis. Now with your right hand, can you touch my finger and touch your nose? And to my finger, and to your nose, to my finger, to your nose. Same with the other hand. Thank you. To your nose, finger, nose, finger. Now I'm going to ask you to put your hands outstretched in front of you with your palms up and close your eyes. So there's no pronated drift, that's fine, you can rest those down. And I'm going to check the reflexes of your arms. So if you could just put your arms like that for me, please. So normal triceps reflex. And on that side. Normal biceps reflex. And on that side. Supinator, just pick that hand for me. On both sides. The reflexes are equal on both sides. Finally, I'm going to check the sensation in your arms. So this is hard, this is soft, and this is hard. When you can feel me touching with the soft or the hard, I want you to say soft or hard. So if you close your eyes for me. Soft. Soft. Hard. So that's C5, and if you would just open your hands for me, keep your eyes closed. Soft, soft, hard, hard. So C6. Hard, hard, soft, soft. C7. Hard, hard, soft, soft. C8. Soft, soft, hard. And T1. So all sensation for soft and hard touch is intact. The next thing I'm going to do is check your vibration sense. So I want you to, well, you have your eyes closed. When you feel it start, I want you to say start. When you feel it stop, I want you to say stop. So you can just rest your hands out straight for me. So close your eyes. Stop. Stop. And the same on the other side. Stop. Stop. So vibration sense is equal on both sides. I'm now going to check your joint position sense. So I'm going to take your finger and move it up and down. If you close your eyes for me, can you tell me if it's up or down? Up, down, down. Thank you. And the same on the other side. Up, down, down. That's fine. Thank you. So that concludes our examination. Thank you, Callum. In summary, this was a normal examination of the upper nerves of the yeah. upper limb. To conclude the examination, I'd also like to perform an examination of the nerves of the lower limb and cranial nerves. Thank you.